Hello Gemini Singles, this is Amber <clears throat> with Lives in Sync Tarot. This is your singles reading, like I just said, <laughs> for the month of December. Your oracle card is, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, um, let's see. Of confusion okay um, this could be about love for some of you it's about a love that you're in or you're faced with for some of you it's about love in general or your views on love okay you start with the two of Pentacles and the hangman which wanted to come out together and this is either about gaining perspective on love and how it fits into your life or anything okay or this is gaining perspective on a relationship and how it fits in your life it almost feels like your decision for something is up in the air like there's other things that you need to focus on or other things that are important to you but you're trying to To look at this situation differently with like compassion and care because I feel like you want to build something real like you want something that's gonna stay around it's not just for fun that's what I get that's why you're going through this right now you may be forced <clears throat> not forced Faced. You may be faced with a commitment or a marriage mm, commitment. For some of you, it's like arranged marriage. Um, I feel like you're faced with something stable. It's like you're trying to figure out your love, your life situation. So you can go into something more stable or how you feel about it. Maybe even with your family. But it's going to take a lot of compassion on your part and healing and an open heart to even accept or deal with this. And that's why you get it safe for you to love. Because love is a high vibration feeling. And... It's almost like I feel this and it's taken a lot out of me and it means something real. It means something sacred. I want something stable or they want something stable. But there are certain things that you have to deal with so you can walk into this. But it's just going to take compassion from either you or the other person. Okay. Hey Gemini, let's see what the cards have for you. Spirit, what do you have for Gemini singles for the month of December? What would you like them to know, be aware of, or pay attention to at this time? the bottom of the deck you have the three of wands and I feel like mm, this is interesting because it feels like you're waiting on making a decision things have already started rolling though it feels like things have already started rolling but the decision hasn't quite been made because you're waiting 
on something. Okay, so it looks like something has been put together. Um, maybe friends or family have put together. That's why I get this feeling of arranged marriage. It's something that is arranged or something that is being, has already been put together or worked on. Okay, and it's giving you an opportunity to start something emotional, okay? Um, but I, as I said, I feel like there's something from the past that needs to be dealt with, whether this be a certain relationship or uh, just this things in your life that need to be rectified before you can move on, you know, before you can can make this decision or walk into something okay so in the middle of this spread you have the judgment and the judgment talks about summing things up or evaluating I really feel like there's something that you need to get done in your life okay um, you don't want to feel like it's a loss. You don't want to make a mistake. I feel like you want to walk into something with all of your eggs in the basket. Like you want to walk into something with stability, with a certain foundation. Okay. Um, there may be a third, another party for you or your, or somebody that you're dealing with, um, that they need to sum up. This could also be like friends, uh, friends setting you up with someone. Mm. I feel like you're interested, but you got things going on. That's the feeling that I get. There's something that needs to end so you can start something new. Okay. Yes. And as I said, I feel like you are interested in making it happen. You're interested in gaining this new opportunity to start something new and something passionate. It might be a one night stand as well, but it feels like something new, something passionate, and it may be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. May also be a water sign that you're, you're having to deal with, and that's Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Definitely Pisces, definitely, I mean, I'm sorry, definitely Scorpio, definitely Aries here, okay? So you want to make a judgment because you're aware that's what you need to do to have success within this relationship. And you are putting the work in or they're putting the work in to get, to get through whatever this is. So in order to start something new, you have to regain your power. In order to regain your power, there's something that you have to deal with. I definitely see that. But it's up to you to, to deal with these situations because it's like you have to sum it up. It's like something has to end and you have to reclaim your power by ending whatever it is so you can begin something new you will be successful especially with the sun car it is going to take some work though okay because i feel like you're gonna make this person or what you have to make the judgment on wait and it kind of leaves them sad thinking that you're not happy with them but you really are happy with them or the situation there's just something that you have to get done in order to start something new. So you can be available is what I'm hearing. Okay, Gemini singles, I'm going to end that there. If you would like to have me expand on this some more, just become a member. And there are the extended readings for not only this, but every single sign you can view anyone you want. Um, from actually November and December. Okay. So that link is in the description box below. Also, um, if you would like a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. That link is also in the description box below. Um, I love you very much. I'll see you next month. Love and light.